kabila naman. It will be Jason Perkins trying to slow down Phoenix Super LPG. JP Mokum there as well. Tip off brought to you by Honda, official motorcycle of the PBA. Hello, welcome to the show. Phoenix just hasn't gotten back into form yet here so far. That's right. No, after uh, a win versus Terra Firma, they they lost the, their rhythm. I, I like how you say they're looking scary, even if CJ Perez is not being scary. And getting the shot right off the buzzer. Kenneth Uffin tying it up at two apiece. Marshall Lasser hit a long two a while ago. Coach, you take a look at the, the Phoenix Super LPG in this conference. Uh, it feels like they had such a talented import last time. And Jonathan Williams the third as Rodney Brundial doubles up the lead here for the San Miguel Beermen. They had such a great import, Jonathan Williams III, that when he finally left, uh, due to this being out in the conference, the adjustment hasn't really happened here yet for Phoenix. Well, uh, definitely they're missing a big guy that can uh, uh, get a lot of rebounds for them, that can block shots and defend the paint. Something that uh, Williams provided for them. And, uh, there, well, there's... Close it forward from Pangasinan, number three, Jason Perkins. Head coach of the Vivo Masters is Jamaica Hari. Number 13, Marcio Lassiter. And at center from Pinamungahan Cebu, number 15, Junmar Fajardo. Very high standards, but he's been trying to contribute in different ways. RJ Azul, seeing that around to Tuffin, attacking Marcio Lassiter. Tuffin, oh, great find inside the Mofon. Trying to get the win. Guide San Miguel, yung makakatapat nila sa next game nila. Yes, para makabawi agad. No? As, uh, we just saw that uh, three-point shot from CJ Perez. Has uh, stints with the national team as well. CJ Perez, oh, smashes in a three. Yes, well, and when you're a seven-time MVP, you're allowed to do that. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Well, he's, he's uh, developed uh, a lot of new skills over the years. Oh, what a fine coach. I'm so sorry. As Rodney Brandial. Turnover for Tafin. I'd, I'd uh, encourage him to uh, keep penetrating because of that uh, length. And of course, Rivero into this contest. Again, it's always great to see one of the crowd's favorites finally get that nod, coach. Oh, yes. And Richie has Speaking always... Off. Yeah, Richie has always been a, a, a tremendous scorer. Wherever he played, even when he, he was in high school and then college, and then of course here in the PBA, we're just waiting for him to really explode. Terence Romeo thought about it, gets it back. Terence again! Well, Terence Romeo, the awareness was there. You see the shot clock was expiring, still getting the shot to fall, despite the good defense played there by Phoenix. Yes, already four points for uh, Terence Romeo in this game. Jason Perkins getting in his bag here, coach. Oh yes, win championships in the UAP in different, in different, different schools. Let's take a look at this again. Terence Romeo getting the ball back there straight away from Motown. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Ripeno oh. almost loses it. Jeron Deng gets it, gives it to Jericho Cruz with a touchdown. Marco Hardo, he was hit in the face a while ago by Simon Camacho. Probably assuming we're gonna get a look at that as oh. Fresh off the bench, Alejandro. You never know, maybe the next PBA players attending those camps. Oh, yes. Otautua going inside, misses out there. Trolliano cleans up his mess. Well, this is another guy, uh, Don Trolliano, who is an excellent rebounder. He had nine rebounds against the TNT, and he also averages nine rebounds per game, so you need to block him out. Richie Rivero gets free. Shot in and out. Dave's an offensive rebound. Alejandro. Oh, he's hot, coach. That's derecho screen. <laughs> Salado gets the floater up. No good. And the ball pops up like a court. Salado again. Voila, but no. Gets it a go. And cue the timeout because all of a sudden, dancing, getting three. Can't get it to Baldo. Oh, and another great defensive stop there. Here's Mo with a lay-in. Or at least the last shot of the first quarter and has a couple of threes already. Big Manuel, welcome back. Um, injury to have, no, to, to, to be fractured. Uh, yeah. 
very painful. And he doesn't even have uh, any mask to protect it. Yeah. Trying different things over and over again to get the better of San Miguel. Simon and Cisa left wide open. That's one guy you do not leave open. And almost a turnover eventually completed. CJ Perez on the run now. CJ attacking Marshall in the corner. Yes! In this conference from three. And CJ Perez knew that, saw that, and Marshall buries a triple to up the lead in San Miguel Beerman. Get an update on what happened at the halftime break in just a bit. As Marshall Lasser tries to get another two, no good. CJ Perez there to collect for his 15 point. They're going inside now, trying to attack Chris Ross at the post. Larry Muya gets a big three to ball for Phoenix. Uh, CJ Perez hit a big three a while ago, and San Miguel are looking really good when they're running the ball, coach. As Jumar Fajardo going back to the post, and just such a technical, technical player. Take a look at this again. Jumar Fajardo gets slapped in the face, but it doesn't matter. Jumar gets two. Yes. Phoenix tried to stay within touching distance here, coach. Oh, yes. They're really competing, and that, that was the message during the halftime. Missed layups have been a story here for Phoenix coach as Don Trolliano sidesteps Whoa. and gets two. That was already great defense by Ken Tuffin, but better off. Face basket and uh, take jumpers like that. The basket has not been going for RDS. Oh, oh CJ Perez! Oh. The San Miguel beer man, courtesy of their high octane play. CJ Perez getting the lay in and the grateful. Was such a competitive guy and really made it a show for all of our fans at Pacolo and all over as Jericho Cruz getting to right over the extended hand of San Camacho. I feel bad uh, for Phoenix because th that was such great defensive effort as you can see right there. They were very active. Uh, it's been all San Miguel here in quarter number three after playing excellent basketball in the first two quarters. Yes, a big run by uh, San Miguel before the uh, timeout. Uh, executed with that lap pass to Richie Rivero. Eight points already for Richie. Derek Cruz wide open for wow. three. Everybody's just scoring for uh, San Miguel at this point. Up to 10 points already as Matthew Dave using his athleticism against Mo Taltua will shoot two free throws. Yes, great uh, job by San Miguel still setting up their defense. Take a look at that Marshall, the feed to Jericho Cruz. Yes, that was a great uh, one-handed pass. Terrence. Working and gets past Richie Rivero. Ooh, goes on the attack. Wow. Oh, what a finish from Terrence Romeo. Because this is another classic Terrence Romeo highlight. Well, first of all, the great ball handling and right there. Tinago yung bola, no? So he tried. <laughs> Salado going inside and almost another turnover. Alejandro forces a shot. Oh, wow. he gets in the fall again. He ends the third quarter like he ended the first. Contributions from JJ. So it is a long two, says the referee. And there it is, the buzzer beater from him. And Crimson lead down to 11. And that gives to Alejandro, who's been great off the bench here for Coach Jamai Karin. Nice. Inside to Dave, there was a mismatch, bucket and one. Let's take a look at that little feed there coming from Alejandro. And there was a mismatch if he ever saw one down about Matthew Davis. And JJ Alejandro still having a hard time here. Jericho Cruz misses out on the bunny. Matthew Davis trying to hold on to possession here. Eventually hands it off to Richie Rivero, who's now running, gunning. Salado back to Richie. Tees up three. No. Davis with another rebound. Dave's the turn, gets it to fall. Especially in the interior for Phoenix. Motodua tries a three and splashes that home. Yeah, how do you stop San Miguel when even Motodua could light up from uh, downtown? Still a nine point ball game here. Phoenix are not out of this yet. Salado caught in no man's land. Marshall Lasseter feeding Jericho Cruz. Yes, more turnover points for uh, San Miguel. Just signed a fresh three-year deal last week as the chief tactician for the Fuel Masters. Now this comes after the team's impressive fairy tale run during the Commissioner's Cup, where he led them to a Final Four appearance for the first time since 2020. The Phoenix management recognized Coach Jamaik for his invaluable role in guiding this young team through adversity. 
beyond the X's and O's of the game. Now, this was even evident earlier. Um, it's very competitive, and uh, when you get a, a three-year deal, that's uh, certainly a, a huge confidence builder for any coach. Matthew Daves hanging up in the sky, 84 to 92, still in favor of San Miguel Beerman, but Daves has had an incredible fourth quarter here for Coach Jamai Karin. Dennis Romeo, though, falling away from Daves, getting two. Yes, well, excellent uh, offense being displayed by both teams. Of course, uh, Daves with 11 points already in this game. Great penetration. And Rafi Verano follows up Richie Rivero's miss. Yes, a uh, great trace by uh, Rafi Verano that time for the putback. Terrence, Daves right in front of him. Back in the zone, talking about the Phoenix Super LPG. Terrence working on Dave. Five seconds on the play. And oh. then it's Romeo dances and scores. Wow. A big run. A big run no? So even if they don't have a really big uh, lead right now, although after that basket, it becomes a nine-point lead. Here we go. Let's take a look at this again. Again, uh, Terence Romeo making that excellent pass to the cutting uh, CJ Perez. And the uh, contact was made uh, with uh, Jason Salado. Leading Jason Perkins up top. Perkins. The feed inside to Verano. The reverse. Oh, wow. Using the left hand. Uh, great uh, reverse layup for Verano against uh, Junmar. Again, Rafi Verano, five points in this game. They needed every bit of it. Junmar against Jason Perkins. Perkins giving up so much size. And the turnaround oh. day is good for Junmar. So a good attempt, though, coming from Salado that time, getting the foul. And almost trying to find Don Trolliano. Here's JP Mofo on attacking. A miss is out. There's oh. the follow by Tuffin. No good. And the layups just haven't been falling here as CJ Perez shows them how it's done. Yeah. Perkins just dictating traffic here. Quick three. Oh, oh, much needed here for Phoenix as they pull within single digits again. Yes, well, Phoenix needs more of those uh, quick baskets because uh, time is not on their side right now. Again, almost desperate defending here. Marshall Lasseter, the feed oh. to Jericho Cruz. No, that's the problem when you keep uh, double teaming. Uh, it allows uh, open shots right like that. Tough and thought about it. Hit three already. Perkins swinging things around here. It eventually falls the way of JP Moko. No foul. Moko asking for a foul. Ten point lead here. Jericho Cruz working on Perkins again. And that's Ooh. a tough finish from Jericho Cruz. Yes, despite that uh, help from uh, Toppin, Jericho still makes that layup. Toppin misses out on the three. And it looks like San Miguel Beerman are out for another victory here right after Easter Sunday. Marshall Lasseter, rare miss from him. Now JP Mokon walking this down. Oh. And another turnover. That has been the story of the game here. San Miguel Beerman will put a bow on this. And a timeout on the floor here for Phoenix because it was sloppy right after that as we take a look at another turnover here. Yes, it's a very weak pass coming from JV Mokon uh, right into the hands of uh, CJ Perez. Find ways to get the score down. As Jason Perkins couldn't finish in close distance. CJ Perez running, gunning, and uh, is one point away from a 30-point night. 29 so far from CJ. Yes, and uh, showing no mercy is the Beerman. J.B. Mokon getting the point there to trim down this lead to make it a bit more respectable. But then here is Jericho Cruz on the attack. C.J. Perez, he's up three, and oh, there oh. it is. A 32-point night so far for C.J. Perez. Wow, a scoring machine. C.J. Perez is... J.B. Mokon. Goes up for two. Let's see how much CJ Perez can finish with. That's Montaltua. Will work against La Lata. Gives it back to Jericho Cruz. He's up a three. No good there. So, coach, a uh, comprehensive win here for, by a, a very good second half performance 
coming from the San Miguel Beerman. And we wait the confirmation, and there's the final buzzer. Finally, 116 to 102 here at the Big Dome in game number one of this Easter Sunday doubleheader.